happy learning to the happy learners. I am Dr. Shobha Edward, Principal, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship, KCS Kasinara College of Arts and Science, here to give you a presentation on statistics. You may find this video in my YouTube channel, Smart Learning with Dr. Shobha Edward. Today, we will be seeing some solved problems in index numbers. The weighted index numbers, the Laspierre's method, the Pashis method and the Fisher's ideal index numbers are highlighted in this problem. So they've asked us to use a suitable method of index number to find. So now, the last Pierce method says sigma P1 Q0 by sigma P0 Q0 into 100. The Pashis method says sigma P1 Q1 by sigma P0 Q1 into 100. The Fisher's method says that it is an ideal index number, a combination of the last Pierce and the Pashis index number. That is root of sigma P1 Q0 by sigma p0 q0 into sigma p1 q1 by sigma p0 q1 into 100. Now going on to the solution, there in the question we have the value of the price and the value in 1989 that is the base year and the value and the price in 1990. So in 89, it is P0 and V0. In 90, it is P1 and V1. Given the price and the value, we can find the quantity. Q0 is nothing but V0 by P0. So, 80 by 8 is 10. 90 by 10 is 9. 256 by 16 is 16. Similarly, P1 and V1 are given. So, Q1 can be found by using the formula V1 by P1. So, 110 by 10 which is 11, 108 by 12 which is 9, 340 by 20 which is 70. Now, going on to the last Pierce method, we require P1 Q0 divided by P0 Q0 into 100. So, P1 Q0, P1 10 into Q0, 10. So, it is 100. Then 12 into 90. 9. 12 into 9, which is 108. 20 into 16, which is 320. The total of P1, Q0 is 528. Now P0, Q0 is needed. So P0, the value of P0 is multiplied by Q0. 8 into 10, 80. 10 into 9, 90. 16 into 16, 256. The total of this, 426. Moving on to the formula, 528 by 426 into 100 which gives you the last year's index number 123.9437. So this is the index number using the last year's method. Now for the Pashis method, we need P1, Q1 and P0, Q1. So P1, Q1. So 10 into 11, 110. 12 into 9, 108. 20 into 17, 340. The summation of P1, Q1 is 558. Then P0, Q1. So this is P0 and this is Q1. 8 into 11, 88. 10 into 9, 90. 16 into 17, 278. Which sums to 450. Now going on to Pashi's index number. We have taken the totals. That is going back. We have 558 divided by 450. You may see that 558 by 450 into 100 which is equal to 124. 
Now Fisher's index number is just a combination of both Laspierre's and Fashi's. So it's root of 528 by 426 into 558 by 450 into 100. So root of 1.239 into 1.24 into 100. So it's root of 1.5368 which comes to 1.2396 and so on into 100. So your Fisher's index number values to 123.9699. So now under our Laspier's method, this was devised by Laspier in 1871. In this method, the weights are determined by quantities in the base. P01 is equal to sigma P1Q0 by sigma P0Q0 into 100. Now a recap of the Pashi's method. This method was devised by a German statistician Pashi in 1874. The weights of the current year are used as base year in constructing Pashi's index number. So P01 is equal to sigma P1Q1 divided by sigma P0Q1 into 100. Now going on to the Fisher's price index number, it is the geometric mean of the last peers and Pashi's index number. Pashi's is less than or equal to Fisher's index number, which is less than or equal to last peers index number when consumers respond to price relative changes by adjusting mix of goods purchased in periods of inflation. Pashi and Fisher more data intensive and costly because we need to obtain expenditure weights in each period. So thank you and have smart and happy learning. Thank you.